Hi there, this is a big hello to my Dallas friends and to other collectors who watch this little film from our gallery in Berlin. You know me from the art fair and from the booths we are exhibiting, but you have never seen me in our gallery, which actually changed one and a half years ago. So we are in an old shop situation in a very nice neighborhood in Berlin. And what you see next to me and in the background is the recent show by Hüsian Zami. Hüsin Sami is an Australian artist based in Sydney and our collaboration started about two years ago with a first double solo show together with another artist from the stable, Julia Gruner from Cologne, Germany. Our exhibition is entitled Matter and Color and as you can see in these works there is a lot of 3D texture on the surface. You would think that you are looking at tissues which are um, painted, but actually all you see is paint which has been fabricated by Hussein as a skin. So these are many, many layers of individual color which were um, placed above each other on a separate surface and then as a wet paint fixed to the canvas one after the other until the total composition is complete. You see here in this one there is a different texture, it's even finer than the first one we have seen and also the color shade is different to the other one. We are looking at what we call medium size works, there are others in the show which are a lot larger. I take you on a little walk through the gallery we leave this entrance space and cross our office space and go to the next one and we are looking at one single painting from the same work group, the painted skins, but as you can see here the skin, the paint is much thicker than in the other works. So that's also the reason why we have separated this work in this separate space. And now we continue to the other exhibition space, which is this one. Again, we do have um, colored walls. In this room, we do have a light gray, which is uh, kind of chosen because you find it in the paintings itself as well. So it, it is much more kept back uh, compared to the dark blue we have on the other space, um, but it suits the work again very, very well. That is also the reason why Hussein and I have discussed to use for him for the first time these colored walls. He had been thinking about it, but not tried before. So this is the very first time that we see these works in our show on colored walls. I would like to explain a bit about the process, how these works are made. These colors you see here on top of the painting have been produced apart from the painting. So imagine a thick plastic foil where the fluent color is poured onto. Then it has to dry and then a next layer and further layers are all onto each other and build up what we call a skin, which has to be that thick that it doesn't rip when Hussein takes this individual layer of color off the foil and then attaches it to the surface of the canvas. So it's all still soft and a material which, which is kind of still alive. I would like to show something to you which usually is totally forbidden, which means never touch art. As a gallerist, I, I'm allowed to because I have to handle this work, but in this special case, you have to know this texture you look at is not hard, it is soft. I show it to you. I take my little finger and just tip here, and you see that the color moves, but it goes back, and the whole canvas is going back and forth. Now I'm walking with you through the gallery into our very tiny little backspace. And here you see 
um, two works from this other work group by Hüsian, which is kind of very well known. It, these are the so-called cut paintings we have here. And as you see, the canvas has been cut and flips over and reveals the color which um, Hüsian has um, f f poured onto the back of these canvases before. And um, the uh, pure gravity makes them flip over. These ones you find in the online viewing room of the um, Culture Place platform by the Dallas Art Fair as well. All details revealed there. At the end of our little exhibition tour, you find me at my desk where I regularly write my mails to you and promote our show. The other possibility, possibilities you have are to attend our 3D tour through this show on our website. Very easy to find. And of course, um, Culture Place, the platform by the Dallas Art Fair, provide, provides all information um, you would necessarily um, need to find out more about the artist, about us, and of course, about the works.